Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. All right, today in the chapel we have Psalms 105.1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. So, yeah, just being thankful and sharing the word of God and, yeah, just or looking forward. I've been working a lot on Christmas, so I'm really getting ready to hopefully show the love of the Lord through the Christmas season. So if you remember for us, it's not about getting gifts. It's about making memories. So that's, and it's an entire season. It starts the day after Thanksgiving. So yeah. All right. So let's start with the basics. Um, this is the one I've worked the most on. Okay. No surprise projects. I didn't start any new. I'm trying to get done with these. Um, now there is a funny to go with this. So I was further. Um, and literally I had, let me see here. The second row, or second row, this row right here. Turn around here. This end row right here that I'm working on. Okay. I had it almost done. And then I had to rip it out because about the third corner or fourth corner in, I forgot to do a corner. Oh, sorry. I forgot to do a corner and it was evident. So I had to rip out, start all over, and I had this about done, but now I only have it about halfway. So I probably would be much further if I hadn't made that mistake, but, and a lot of times if I make a mistake, I hide it. I couldn't think of a way to hide that to save my hide. It was an entire corner missing out of a snowflake. Yeah. I don't know. I guess snowflakes are imperfect and it would have been okay, but I wanted to lay on the table okay. So, <laughs> yeah, it was very evident to me. So, I pulled Pulled it and frogged like an entire row, which is a long row. So the other one I've been working on is this one. You can tell it's growing. It's getting there. Uh, probably done five rows on this, maybe six rows. So, and it's just one skein. So you probably could see more progress on the yarn. Just got these two or three. It's really empty in there. So the yarn probably shows more progress than this. So, yep. But that's just going to be my head wrap. So it's that's not all I was working on. So this weekend, I also finished my Halloween costume. I put the last little finishing touches and hemmed it and all that stuff. I ended up not having to take out the straps and redo them. It works on me, just not on the mannequin. It looks better on her, though, because she got a flat tummy. But just, that's another story. Um, so, I've been working on some other things. But I got um, a Mary Maxim order in, and then I got my kit in. So, I'm going to start with the order because I got this kit right here. It was like $11 to make 24 of these. And this will work at work. I've decided I'm going to hide um, one of these in everybody's office or cubicle. And so I have all 24 done, except I still have that little bow right there to put on. Um, I have, I think... One, two, I have five done, okay, and then the only thing I have left to do to the rest of them is put the little bows on, okay, so they still got their wire. Once I get those bows on, I'm going to tie jute onto them so that I can hang them, and this is one that's done, so... When I was in the middle of doing all this, I got bored. 
and got tired of doing the same thing over and over and over and over. So I took the extra beads and I ended up making a little cross. Um, I don't know. I'll do something with it. don't know what, but I will do something with it. It might end up on my tree. I don't know. Um, but the reason that I like that is there's 24 of those. I can give everybody at work on the bottom floor one, hide it in their office and stuff. And then I still have a set of two to give to uh, RJ, his girlfriend, Tori, and her husband. So, yeah. All right. I did, think, I did get one silly thing in that order. And I literally bought this because it was a dollar ninety nine. I have two friends that love gnomes, so I don't know who's gonna get this, but and it just the instructions say that this is cotton, but it's super thick. It's more like rope, um, and it comes with the little bead, and it's just it's not enough of the skein. It's all you know. You've got navy brown, black red and the white so yeah we'll see how he works up okay that's all I can say <laughs> but I'm making a gnome I haven't even started on it just you know got it out for you guys to see and who knows but it, just a dollar ninety nine wasn't enough and I was gonna have to pay shipping and handling on everything anyway so he didn't up my thing. Uh, the other things that I got, I got this and this. They were also like a dollar ninety nine per skein. Um, they're called Bon Bon. They are acrylic. Okay, so they're a hundred percent acrylic. Uh, there's blue, and there is red. I think they call this one cranberry, but yeah. And I don't know how many yards are in this. I haven't taken the time to figure out. It says 300 meters, 100 grams. So if you know how many meter, how many 300 meters is, i will tell you how many yards that is. So. Yep. And so I've got the blue and I've got the red. Um, I don't know. It's it's soft. It'll make good wraps and good headbands. And that's exactly what I am going for on those. I think. That's what I say. But then the other thing that I got was my kit. And yes, I really, really want to start all these things. But I'm not going to. I'm going to be a good girl and finish what I've got. Get these two done first. So, they sent me... Two skeins of each, and it is Stitch Bird Malfage High High. I have no idea, and it is also, you know, it says 131 yards, and it's acrylic. Yep, it's acrylic. It is super soft, but it reminds me of the course bun we used to do. There's that one. And this one. Now, the same project is going to be done with both of those. And supposedly it's going to come out looking like this. Or this. I don't know that I like those two together. I, I really, you know how I am about bold colors. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it or give it away. So that is my dilemma. If I keep it, I will use one color or the other and go buy the other balls. But yeah, I'm not really... This is pretty to me. This is too bright. So I don't know. 
Uh, I might attempt it and if I end up giving it, my daughter would love that. Jane would love that. Um, a bunch of people I know would absolutely love those colors. And they would do them together. But I don't know. Um, it, says, it says in the pattern, and I read part of it, it says that those colors complement each other. <laughs> I don't think so, but hey, I don't know. So we'll see how that goes. Um, all right. Those are the projects I've got going. I did finish up, like I said, the sewing. I'm working on the angels. Um, sorry, had to get coffee. My mouth is getting dry. I went and got the pumpkins and did that. Uh, just set them around outside. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? I'm done in the chapel, totally hooked. I didn't have anything in the basket, y'all saw. Um, I have debated starting to spin. I've got two pounds of the domestic wool that I still have. Oops, sorry. And I, I am actually thinking about starting it, putting it on the wheel. But I don't know. It would provide me with a break from all of this. I really want to start the, anyway. Yeah. Um, in the fields, basically, the outside of the house, I'm doing it in the farmhouse and RJ's world. Um, so RJ has been doing okay. Um, we got some new boots for Coop that have some medicine in them and it seems to be doing okay. She still a little sore, but we're just, we just got the back boots Friday. UPS kept saying that, um, what was that text? Per your instructions, we have rescheduled your delivery. Well, we didn't ever reschedule it. Um, and we called them and the lady says, well, I already have it showing delivered. We called UPS. So we called the place that shipped it. They said, well, you have to go through Amazon because that's where you purchased them from. I said, okay. So I called Amazon and actually they have this little feature. I didn't call them. They called us. Um, when it says make contact, I couldn't find it. I clicked on everything, wanting to know the answer to the question and all this stuff. And I ended up clicking on this thing that says, we will call you. So literally, I put in the phone number and hit call. And within minutes, they were on the phone with us. So, yeah, it was kind of cool. Um, they reshipped them. I'm sorry, my sinuses are draining. They reshipped them. And then the first set showed up Friday. So then I had to go in and cancel the reorder. And we don't know if that got done. They didn't guarantee us a cancellation. So I'm going to have to call them again and tell them, hey, I tried to cancel it Friday when these showed up. And it was like, I don't know, 7 o'clock at night when we figured out, 6 o'clock. And I tried canceling them then. So we'll see if we get them canceled. We may end up with two pair of boots and I may have to send them back. I don't know. So anyway. All right. So that happened. And then I do have one thing and I'm going to try and put this horrible video in because if y'all can see it on my phone, I couldn't see it even though I did it. So the wind has been blowing for days and days and days. So much so that my eyes are super dry and my contacts don't want to focus. I don't know if you have noticed, but my eyes, I, I just, I haven't been able to focus. Um, so I don't even know if the camera's staying focused, whatever, but it's because the wind has been 50, 60 miles an hour steadily <clears throat> at 20, 30, 40 with gusts up to 50 and 60, depending on where you're at. It's Oklahoma wind. It is what it is. So, 
it's been blowing for two days. It's supposed to rain today. And that is what we're all sitting and praying that God does his thing up to four inches. Ooh. Um, we had a fire over in Chelsea that burnt up over 500 acres. No loss of life, which is a good thing. Uh, there were, there was one day there was like three wildfires going. Um, this house and the farm was not touched. So that's good. And you guys know that if you followed us for any length of time, you know that there's a plan of action in, you know, at the farm in here, you know, we water everything down, keep everything mowed and short around the house and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it is what it is. But that being said, the wind allowed me to sneak up down at the pond. So I went down to, um, see if I could see that duck. Okay. I got to back up because I don't, baby duck has some friends. There's been some wild ducks showing up on the pond. And I don't know if I told y'all this because it may have happened just too fast. So, uh, there was one morning I went down there and went to feed and three wild ducks took off. And I was like, Oh shoot. So I started feeding at night. So the next night, I go down and I want baby duck to have friends. I really do. Um, so the next night, the next day I went in the evening and I spooked like seven wild ducks off the pond. And I was like, dang it. So I fed and went this weekend. I didn't go down at all Friday because I couldn't figure out a good time. And I'm thinking maybe lunch hour, but I didn't have time on my lunch hour to go down there and feed. So yeah, I didn't do anything. There's a gnat that's driving me crazy. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I didn't have time to go down there and feed. So, uh, Saturday I got up, wind was whipping crazy. So I grabbed my phone and I literally walked down there trying to get a video of these ducks taken off. And I get around the, I didn't get that net. I get around the dam and I think, well, I'm not going to get them. So I turn the camera off. Well, I didn't get a picture of them, but then I got super excited because there was one wild duck staying with baby duck. The rest of them had already gone. <laughs> and so I got super excited and I tried to get video. And then once I got, Back and I tried watching it on my phone. I have not tried watching it on the laptop. So I don't even know if you can see her, but I'm super excited. You can tell. So it's like, ah, <laughs> baby duck. And, uh, so I fed and I'm going to put that video in right here. It, it just, I don't know what you'll see. Okay. It, it is what it is. I couldn't see it on the phone. She's a little black and white duck and she stays way to the back edge away from me along the tree line. And she gets, she's in the pond and then she goes up on the bank and she walks over and she stays super away from me and baby duck keeps himself in the water around the pond. So that's what you're seeing, but we'll see if you see it. So that'll go in right here. Baby Duck has a friend, and I'm trying not to scare him. Now. This is a wild duck. There's five or six that come down here every day, and I'm so glad to see one staying with Baby Duck. I'm gonna go put out their corn and go far around. I don't wanna spook them. Maybe Baby Duck's not going off. Maybe it's too young. I don't know, but Baby Duck's got himself a girlfriend. Oh, I'm super happy. Wild so I'm gonna go over here and sit down there corn like I always do. Oh, she's walking up on the bank. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna scare her off. That's okay. I put her corn right here. She can see me. Baby duck isn't scared, so I don't think she is. I think she's just keeping the distance. 
but she is a black and white duck. Oh, baby duck has a wild friend. Okay, I'm gonna get off here because I can't do this. I'm shaking. Okay, so there's that video. Sunday, I tried sneaking up again. Never saw the little duck. Never, I don't know if she flew off with her others. We have noticed that there is a, there's like three that try to come back to the pond at night. Um, there was seven out there one day. So we've noticed that in the evenings they try to come back to that pond. We'll see. I just like the fact that he's not by himself. So Sunday, I did go down and with the rake, and I got the pond done. Um, in the video, you'll see that roof thing or whatever it is or awning that was in the pond was still there. Sunday, we went down, and I that thing was so heavy, even after it dried out. Oh, my gosh. If you remember, we had to use a truck to pull it out. And so, yeah, that was, that sucker was heavy. So basically we stood it up on end and walked it over to the burn pile and flopped it down. Then I went back with the rake and I got all the shingles and splintered wood, um, two by fours, anything that I thought was any kind of contaminant. I didn't worry so much about the sticks or any of that. I worried about the, um, uh, poison is what I call it. So the, the tar, the plastic that there was little, um, plastic strips that holds the tar down. Um, I got all of that trash that I could and got it in the burn pile and the work. Then we went over, I went and took the sawzall the roommate went down there with me and, and we sawzawed some of the um, little stump things that I left. And so it looks really clean. And then we got a couple, um, on the back side of the pond book. And I, I looked at roommate and I said, don't get carried away. Cause I am not working anymore on this. Roommate was like, what? I was like, I'm done for the winter. And so it was like, okay, it, it's taken a lot out of me. And I take hours down there and I do love to go and watch baby duck, but with the wind and it is supposed to rain today and tomorrow and we're praying to God that the four inches that they're supposed to, that it's supposed to do turns into eight, you know, um, people's ponds are drying up. This is bad. The pond at the farm, you can walk out to the island. The island is no longer an island. It's just a mound of dirt in the middle of the pond, in the middle of dry, because there's no pond around it. Um, the last time that we saw it this bad, it, it, the farm pond isn't as bad as it was the first year or so. I bet you Tor, Tor was still in school. RJ was probably seven or eight. Um, so 2000 and 2004, someplace right around in there, we had a drought that dried up everybody's ponds. And so people were cleaning them out. And that's when we made the island. So uh, we cleared out the deep part so that it would hold more water. And we pulled all that dirt up, made it in the shallow part of the pond, we made an island. So, yeah, that's the last time it's been that low. So, um, it is what it is. It's drought and we're hoping that, you know, we get double what they say we're going to get. So <laughs> that would be great. So, um, with it going to rain though, I quit the work on the pond. Ooh, everything is good to go. We are pretty much done with that. So, Anyway, all right, that is really all I've got for today, you guys. Um, I put the pumpkins outside, just little stuff like that. 
And basically, I've been working on the three projects you saw here. The um, angels, the head wrap, and the table topper. So, the rest of the stuff was just mail. And yes, I want to dig into it. But I'm not going to until I get these things done. So, yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to get the angels done because that's part of my Christmas. So. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a blessed week. Have great mojo. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.